What's going on everybody? Chuck here. I hope that you are having a fantastic day today. Right here underneath my hands is the Moro RM24 SMRT or Smart. It is a robo mower, auto mower, whatever you want to call it. I have had this in the garage for a while. I've been waiting to make this video and get started on getting this thing out of the box and doing what it was meant to do. So in this video, we're gonna be doing the unboxing of this. And we're also gonna talk about why I decided to go with a robo mower. Let's go ahead and get some housekeeping things out of the way. I reached out to Redback Tools, who manufacture the Moro, and asked them if I can get a unit in exchange for a series of videos. After some back and forth, they did send me a discounted refurbished model, which is what you're looking at here. So I do have some quote unquote skin in the game as I did have to pay some money to get this model. Now, I think by now I've been fairly honest with all my reviews, so you're gonna know if this thing is awesome, you're gonna know if this thing is absolutely terrible, although it's not gonna be in this video, as this video is part one of a series of videos. This video is the unboxing and why I'm going to have a robo mower. Video number two is gonna be the installation of the RM24 Smart. And video three is gonna be some mowing action mixed with how to use the app to control the mower. Now let's quickly get into why I'm deciding to go with robo mowing. And the main reason is, is this is going to go in the backyard where I have Bermuda grass. Now if you know anything about Bermuda grass, if you want it to be at its optimum, optimal position, look, whatever, you need to be mowing it every two to three days. But I actually got a new job here recently and it does have me on the road a little bit. So I'm not always able to hit that two to three day mowing mark. So when I am able to get to mow it, sometimes it's a week to 10 days since I last mowed. And so I'm having to spend even more time mowing to get four inch plus tall Bermuda grass back down to its ideal height of cut or my ideal height of cut, which is between one inch to one and a quarter inches. Having a robo mower back there and the mowing height on the Moro RM24 Smart is between two and a half inches and one inch. So I'm gonna get my ideal height of cut out of this machine and it's gonna be mowing all the time. So it's gonna keep the grass from growing too tall so the Bermuda will then spend its energy growing outwards. Another reason and a more important reason why I want to go with a ro robo mower in my backyard is it gives me time to do other stuff I'd rather be doing like spending time with my family. The backyard being on an incline and being a larger yard tends to take me even longer, sometimes over an hour to get that stuff done. So because this will be focusing on that and if I just got a trim or whatever, that's gonna take just a few minutes, I can spend the rest of that time doing stuff I wanna do versus mowing the backyard every two to three days. So I'm saving two plus hours a week in mowing time. That's quite a bit of free time that I'm gonna get back. Now why am I going with Moro Redback Tools RM24 versus say a Husqvarna or something like that? Well, regardless of what I ended up getting for this mower, which was trading a series of videos for a discounted refurbished model, I was gonna buy this anyway because the entry price is so much cheaper than if I went with Husqvarna. Now, price versus quality, we're gonna find that out as we start to use this machine. But in the, on the short term, if you wanna just try out robo mowing, spending this model refurbished was about $700. Spending $700 versus a couple thousand dollars, that's pretty attractive. So this model being brand new, it's just under $1,000 for the Smart, the SMRT. They do sell just the RM24, which is significantly cheaper than that. And then they also have refurbished versions of all their mowers, but that's obviously dependent upon inventory at the time. So now that I've talked about why I'm sort of doing this video, why I'm going the robo mower, why I went with the Moro RM24 Smart. Let's go ahead and do the top down, get this box open and get this mower out of here and get it set up in the backyard, which is actually gonna be a separate video. Now obviously, like I said, this is a refurbished model. So this box is well used. They made sure it was taped well enough though, but 
It was actually shipped like this, as you can see, and the box is kind of not ideal. Even with, no matter how much tape you use for a refurbished model, you still want to make sure that it, you know, the box adds, even though it's just cardboard and stuff, it adds some protection to it. And if it's all tattered like this, you don't know how, like, how beat up was it, you know? But, so, open the box. Let's just go, let's just uncover this first. So, first here we have our spool. This is the wire that's your border wire. Uh, that you're gonna put around your yard. Obviously, it comes with 300 feet of wire. Um, I did measure my yard, or at least where I'm gonna have this run, because I do have a steep incline. This does like, I think a 30 degree incline, and I'm pretty sure my incline's okay, but I don't want to go all the way up. I will just mow that top part every once in a while, because I may put a tree up there, I haven't decided yet. So, but I do have enough spool here, but this is 300 feet. We have a cable. Pretty sure this one goes, I, this goes into the actual charging station. And this will go into your, so this goes into your wall outlet. This powers the actual charging station. And this is a longer extension cord. We have your um, spikes. It's a Wi-Fi repeater, excuse me, Wi-Fi repeater. And this is the charging cable, for, or the power cable for that. More spikes. Yeah, there's stakes in here. These stakes, these are everything to put your charging station uh, in this particular place. So I open up the little bag and you have your uh, operations manual. It tells you how to set up the charging station, how to set up the mower, how to set up the app, and all that kind of good stuff. So inside the little bag, you had the operations manual. You have your dock screws. They are plastic. They are hex bolt, so these just screw into the ground, so you're able to put your docking station in order. And like I said, the next video video is gonna be the full installation of the Moro RM24 SMRT. So these are all your electrical connectors. Uh, because you have the boundary wire, you have your boundary wire, right? And this goes around the house, but it's actually gotta charge in. I'm sorry, it actually got, it has to plug in to the back of the, the char or the charging dock. And so these are the terminals where they'll actually go in. You'll feed them up. There's two little um, slots here. Feed them up, feed them in, and then you'll actually um, connect them. These little blue clips, put the blue clip right onto the actual terminal in there. But full installation, like I said, will be in the next video. So this is a, just an emergency stop button. Nothing crazy there. The best part of any unboxing. Well, I should probably do this when I'm outside. I'm quiet now. But if you're not using the app, if you were just straight up using the, um, like the, just the RM24, you still have this control station and this is where you'll program your mowing settings and all that kind of stuff on off switch. Um, but you know, you have your start mowing, return at home, and then as you have your various settings here, um, be on the LED or LCD screen on here. Emergency stop, like I said. And on here, you have your actual uh, high to cut adjustment. Uh, currently I have it on 25 millimeters, which is, uh, it says 0.98 inches to two and a half inches. So um, yeah, so 25 millimeters is 0.98 and then it goes all the way up to 65 millimeters. So um, a good range there, especially, I mean, for tall fescue, you know, I want to mow tall fescue at four inches, but for grass types, like maybe Kentucky bluegrass that, and perennial rye, that likes to be mowed shorter. I think these machines, you know, not just this one, but I think all robo mowers kind of have this lower setting. Now you're not gonna get your golf green, real load look, but still, I think one inch, one and a quarter inch uh, tall um, Bermuda actually looks really nice. It's actually my preferred height of cut. So it has three blades, so it comes with six more, so that's good. I think it's funny that they are actually just like razor blades. I don't know, I mean, I've seen these before with other models, other companies, and for some reason, I guess I thought, I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest. It's just funny that they're actually just razor blades, but still, comes with extra screws so you can screw in to the 
cutting circle, I guess you want to call it. And the back wheels actually have these um, prongs on them just to add it for added grip. I'm curious what this will do. Like if you have this mower running in the morning uh, after say a watering cycle or maybe it rained the day before or you know, a dewy back or dewy yard or something like that. If this, you know, as it's turning or maybe going up an incline, if this is, if these types of wheels are gonna tear up the turf at all. So that'll be something to um, look into when we actually set this thing up and start going. So that is pretty much it for this unboxing of the Moro RM24 SMRT Robo Mower, Auto Mower, whatever you want to call it. Like I said at the beginning, this is going to be used on my backyard, which is 3,500-ish square feet of Bermuda. It's going to allow me to be able to mow the Bermuda at the height of cut I want more frequently than what I'm currently able to do because of travel and all other stuff. And it also is going to free up extra time every week if I were to mow every two to three days I'm looking at saving you know two to three hours a week in mow time that I can spend with family doing other stuff whatever the case may be but it's gonna end up saving me time it's not gonna be touching the front yard the, the tall fescue in the front yard that's gonna be mowed by me because it doesn't take very much time to do and I can mow that once a week and be perfectly fine and not doing damage to the grass. If you have any questions about this mower, please comment them down below. If there's something you wanted me to say and I didn't say it in this video or show it in this video, please also let me know because I want to be fully transparent in this review. I don't know if it's necessarily going to be the next video on this channel, but it's definitely be coming up here soon and it's going to be the installation of this. I don't know if I'm able to get to it today, but I'm hopefully going to get to it over the next couple days and get this thing installed and get it mowing because I have maybe a month or so of good-ish growing season left in my Bermuda before it completely shuts down. So that is the goal coming up. Stay tuned because I'm also going to have a video about my overseed and all that kind of stuff in the front yard, how it's going. It is turning out really, really well. The dethatching did a big help uh, actually on the overall grass quality uh, as it's allowing the grass and the grass that stayed is growing up nice and tall. I've never had the grass look in this tall uniform across the lawn so I'm really excited to show you that. But anyway that is it for this video. If you liked it please give it a thumbs up. Kind of long ramblings. It's just an unboxing video. That's kind of what they are. But anyway I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic rest of your day and God bless. So now I'm going to go ahead and close in a prayer. Like I always say, if you have any prayer requests, please send them to that email address down below. That's just between you and me, and I will pray for whatever the case, whatever your needs are, because I want to be here uh, for the people that watch my videos, watch my channel, all that kind of good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for today, God. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to... Uh, get these uh, new tools that I can use, not just for content on the channel, but to also just help me enjoy doing stuff out in the yard, spending time with the family, and just sort of making the overall look of our home something that we can be proud of. Thank you for allowing me to share this hobby with everyone that's watching my channel, God. I pray for any unspoken prayer requests that may be out there that, um, yeah, if they're on the fence about uh, sending me an email, that you just sort of nudge them in that direction so I can go ahead and pray for those because when two or more are gathered, you are there, God. I thank you for everything that you've provided us. Be with our country, Lord. No matter what side of the aisle you, uh, you know, my viewers uh, stand on, God, just be with our country, be with our government. Uh, and uh, we just thank you, Lord. And uh, yeah, in your name, amen. God bless everybody.